everybody. Welcome to my studio. Back to my studio, I guess. It's actually the first day that I have been in here stamping. Oh, it's been two weeks about, I guess, because I stopped. Uh, I haven't filmed a video since mid-December because I did a bunch and I tried to get ahead and then I took a couple of weeks off to enjoy my family and a lot of work um, from about the weekend before Christmas until, um, it. let's see, it's the Wednesday after um, Christmas. We have filled every single solitary day from morning until evening with just a ton of activity. So yesterday was kind of a catch all day for me where I, um, you know, started to put stuff up, got a little grocery shopping in, a little bit of returns, that kind of stuff. Um, so today I'm back and I had, you know, when you're not in, you're thinking about up a bunch of ideas and getting a whole lot of things ready. So let me kind of tell you where we're going to go for the next several days. I'm going to try to get a couple of things filmed. I have um, Try It class. I'm going to talk about that for a second. That is about ready to close. Um, I'm going to show you the preview for um, my card club for January and I'm going to try to get that filmed so it can post over the weekend. Um, and then catalog debut, which always love those days. Um, I will have some special specials for you if you order on the first and second day that this catalog goes live along with celebration. Um, I have a ton of emails. There are so many emails and a lot of YouTube comments, um, some Facebook messages. I probably am not going to get the, to those until um, Monday of next week. So if you sent an email or you've got a YouTube comment, um, we still have a few fun things coming up this weekend that we're going to do and I'm going to start cutting paper for my try it class. So to try to get some more videos and some emails out to you, all of the busy office work. I know several of you have asked for catalogs to be mailed. If you need one of these mailed to you, let me know today because those will probably go out on Monday. Um, so all of the busy work, like office kind of stuff, that's going to happen on Monday. But starting in January, I just have a ton of stuff we'll have. Um, I'm going to tell you the next online class. As soon as Try It class registration ends, a couple of days later, I'll open my first online class for January. And then we'll have Card Club. I will um, have my um, winter retreat. We'll open for registration towards the middle of January. So just a whole lot of fun things coming up. Um, and of course, celebration. Always super fun when with every $50 you spend, you get something free, right? So that's that. Now, I know a lot of you were just as busy as me, and I hope that you had just as much fun for your vacation as I did, or your holidays, and got to spend a bunch of time with your family. So if you missed this card, I wanna make sure that you go back and see it. Now, it's not like it's the, the hardest card in the world, and most of you um, could look at it and figure out how to make it. But this card, I took, um, so you get to see all the way in behind the scenes of a Try It class. You get to see the book that comes with it, um, and like I said, I think there's about 10 spots left. I haven't gone in and checked after the last couple of registrations came through. But it, if it doesn't fill, which I'm pretty sure it will, it will close on January 2nd. But I know it's getting right up there to about being full. Um, but I took, this is a past Try It class card, and this is a new one. Um, and this is with the new celebration, some of the new paper, some new embellishments, some new ribbon. I show you exactly what to expect with the try it class. So if you want to, if you're thinking about still signing up, one, you need to do it soon before you lose your spot. Um, but go watch this video and it will show you the book, how the kit comes, everything. So I know that some of you might have been away with family or away on vacation um, or just super busy picking up all the wrapping paper. Um, so I didn't want you to miss that. So that's there. So for today's card, I'm just gonna showcase one of the new papers because there's two new papers. I've started to um, work on a couple of the Try It class projects, but two of the new papers are kind of throwing me for a loop. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm gonna show you the On the Horizon bundle. This is a fabulous bundle and you will absolutely love it. I'm, I haven't decided what my first online class is gonna be, partly because in case there's any shipping issues with Stampin' Up, I don't wanna um, pick a class and then on January 4th and be like, oh, sorry, those are gonna um, fly off the shelves too fast because they'll tell us that there's gonna be something low inventory. But it may be this, if this is not there, partly because in January, I like to kind of escape to the beach and this is kind of that kind of set. So it's this. But here's the paper, and in a try it class, we use the paper, but this is six by six, as you can tell, and look how beautiful it is. This is nothing like the card that we're gonna make. 
because you flip them around and then there's just some beautiful, beautiful patterns. So this is the piece I'm gonna use on today's card. But what's happening with um, Try It Class is there's so many designs, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna give it to you. And I may do a variation of today's cards. Keep in mind, you don't have to have anything to stamp. Or I may just come up with something different. But there's this one, and then we have a new four by six. But look how pretty, I mean, both sides are beautiful. Um, and when you see the, the dies that come with, you can see all of the potential. I mean, there's winter scenes, like this just looks, um, it, it just looks like a winter scene. You hardly have to do anything to the piece of paper. And then you flip that one over, and there's a summer scene on the exact same piece of paper. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the Try It class, but it may be our first online class. So if you're thinking that this is on your list, I will let you know what the online class is gonna be. Um, before the first day so if you're one of those people who takes classes from me and you want to wait and get the whole bundle at the and get some free stuff so here are the stamps and i'm going to use a couple of the stamps and i'm going to show you how i made it work with this piece of paper now this wouldn't work for try it um because of the way i'm going to cut the paper but i want to create a scene and so i need a, a four by five and a quarter just because i want a standard card size piece so to start off, I know that I can lose a little bit of the top. So this is gonna be our five and a quarter. Put up here where you can see it. I'm gonna cut it a slant. Oops, I'm doing that the wrong thing. So I'm gonna lose a little bit of the sky first and see if I can lose that, lose that much sky. See, you can just get rid of that right off the bat because this is nothing. So now we've got this and it's the right height and we're gonna have a little bit of space up here. Now I've got, I want it to, I'm gonna do a, a like a beach scene, more like a lake, I guess, a lake scene. My sister lives on a lake and this looks a little bit like if you're standing out at the sandy part of her lake and overlooking the neighbors on the other side. So I wanna keep this piece right here that has more of the water feel to it and I'm, I'm okay to lose some of this. So let's put this in and I'm not gonna measure anything yet because I wanna keep the trees because this part looks like oh, a Midwestern lake where we have a group of trees on one side. So now I can see if I keep that, go over here and do a four inch. And so that just kind of lets you know how much to cut off. Now you can save this these pieces because there's a lot you can do, especially with this piece. You can make a tag. Um, and then you have these pieces. In fact, I almost cut the trees out of this piece, but on the other one, I um, I cut smaller bits off to kind of see where I wanted to go. So we got that. So now let's hope that doesn't fall off. Let's do a little bit of stamping on this. We'll go ahead and stamp the pieces. So I'm gonna use the stamps out of here. I'm not, I didn't add any words. I thought about putting some on and then I just left them off, but there are several sentiments in this set. I'm gonna use the birds. There's some birds flying away and I'm just gonna add them right here. So just one little flock of birds. And I need that, that was Smoky Slate. And then I have Pear Pizzazz. I wanted some light colors. And then I'm just gonna add kind of some cattail kind of things down here at the bottom. And I just want them to kind of go off the edge of the paper. Kind of over here. So that's all the stamping for the actual piece of paper. Isn't that fun? The paper does all of the beautiful work for you. And then I have a piece of vanilla cardstock and that's gonna be my base. Now the card is, the designer series paper has white in it, um, but we're gonna use all three of our neutrals. I'm gonna, the paper has the white, I'm gonna use some shimmer white, which is that in between white and vanilla, and then um, the vanilla. So it has a piece of like weathered wood. I'm just gonna use that to help create a fun background for this. And only the edges are gonna show, so you don't have to be super careful. And not everywhere has to be stamped. I see a lot of potential with this stamp, like for a farmhouse look or something that doesn't even have to be beachy. Just creating some background papers. But for this, I'm just gonna kinda 
add that on to give the, put some over here, give the paper a, so it doesn't look blank on the back. So that's all the stamping. Now I'm gonna take the dies that come as part of the bundle. And I have pulled out, there's a bunch of dies that I didn't use and I wish I could show you the inside of the catalog, but I can't do that until next week. So there's these little trees, oops. And this is evergreen. Let's see if I still remember my colors after taking such a long break. Actually coming up this summer, I will take a week with stampers in St. George, Utah. And then I'm going to fly immediately from St. George and go to Orlando for a week with my family. So that will be two weeks that I will be away from my office, which is a pretty long stretch. I haven't done that since the, the last time we went to, um, maybe I think when we went to Ireland, it was 10 days. When we went to Scotland and Iceland, it was a, oops. well, I'm sitting down. I should have stood up. And this is a new plate. You can tell when you have a new plate, they often have a lot of static in them. Just gonna run this through here. It just takes one pass. And I did over Christmas break, I got two of them up. Three of them were recorded. I didn't get all of them up on the how-tos. Just a bunch of tips and tricks on how to care for your machine with your cut and emboss. Um, and then I got the one, so the, the basics is up, but I wouldn't even call it basics because uh, there's a lot of tips on there that you might not know. Um, and then the second one on how to use folders is also up. Then the one coming up with dies, and I saw that a bunch of you had other questions and like how to use the mini, so I'll try to get to all of those as well. Now I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna take this. Okay, and here's a little trick for you. This time I'm gonna put this in right side up. This is um, just one of our backgrounds. I don't remember what it's called, I ne but I never remember that what this is called. That, that has nothing to do with Christmas. We've had too many of these that are kind of subtly, and it's not the subtles. The subtles was my favorite. This is similar to, similar to the subtles, but it makes it look like kind of watercolor paper. So it makes it look more like a painting. So this one I put in, and you can see the Stampin' Up! is here. See, it just gives it a nice textured background. I will put it in the underneath the video on YouTube. Now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna flip this over, and then this time, the, the texture's gonna go another way. So when I put these on the card, the texture will just be a little bit different. The fences are stuck in there, let me pop them out. I love this little fence, and you may think, why does it look crooked? it looks a little bent, which could be super fun. This is one of those sets that you will pull out again and again, because imagine like at Halloween using the crooked fence, but there's a reason it's crooked and you'll see it in a second. So pop this in and now it's just gonna, the texture is gonna go opposite, which is just a real subtle, um, different look on our card. But if you're paying close attention, and you give this to somebody who pays close attention to your cards, they will notice it. So now we just have to put this together. I love the fact that this looks like it takes a long time, but it's it doesn't take long at all. Pop those out. Pop this over here. A lot of times when you put the designer series paper through a folder like that, if you do this directly on the paper, sometimes your paper will pull apart. So just put it on your cardstock and then you don't have to worry about it. So see just that little bit of the weather-worn wood helps. So you don't have just an empty background back there. I'm gonna add a little bit to my trees. I'm gonna do this one opposite from my other one, just so we can kind of see, because it's the same piece of paper. And then for this one, I'm going to take the mini dimensionals into my little mini houses that are just across the way and you just need it you can do it on all three houses I found that two held it fine and again because it's textured just go ahead and give them a little push otherwise sometimes when you go to pull the backs off the whole thing comes off because it has to stick to something 
And I'm just gonna cover this little bit of water because I don't want it to look like the houses are in the water. I want it to look like they're just on land. And I'm gonna take my fence and I'm gonna do this opposite of what I did too before. Eh, maybe not because of the way I did the pattern. We probably could though. I'm gonna do it opposite. You could use the um, fine tip glue if you want. I found that I could get enough to stick on these and it kind of just disappears in the middle of the holes without mattering. You don't want it to go on top of your cattails because you don't want it to look like your fence is on top. You would have to do some masking if you do that. And make sure that your points, obviously your fence has points and they go up. Don't put your fence points down in the sand. Just make sure before you put your adhesive on that you're going the right direction. Can you see the potential for doing this in an online class? I'm thinking for my retreat, like I haven't really actually thought about it, but when I first looked at the catalog, I think that we may like do something around the world because there's a couple of different sets that look like they're around the world. So then I just took these right here just kind of laid it on here and pulled a little bit of the adhesive and then that stops that long one from joining up in the air this one is short enough that it kind of presses flat and then these fun new embellishments i had this is the first time i'd open them they're called pebbles pebble enamel shapes and they come in three colors and three different patterns so i just picked one of each pattern and one of each color and they're literally just pebbles they add some fun little accents to the bottom you can just put them wherever and you're done could not be a simpler card could be for a guy could be for a girl fun retirement graduation birthday here's the other one it goes the opposite direction I just kind of wanted to show you that it doesn't matter where you put them they're all super fun. And this one's cut a little bit different because like I said, I started kind of cutting it down to see where I wanted it to go. But super easy, super fun. So remember if you want to, um, well, if you're on my email list, you'll find out everything. So go to my website and it pops up there where you can um, join. You can also join my email list for my Facebook page. But so much stuff will be coming up starting next week. But if you want to get in on the Try It class, head over now and sign up before all of the spots are gone. Everybody have a great day and I'm going to film something else. Bye.